The youth wing of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, has recommended the strengthening of the constitution to accommodate more political empowerment for the youth. The National Youth Leader and member of the party's Kateka Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, Ismail Ahmed, made the recommendation while addressing journalists on the resolutions from the recently concluded National Progressive Youth Conference held in Abuja. He said there was need to exploit all available opportunities to work towards promoting national unity, democracy and dialogue, while assuring that the party would continue investing in the country's unity and future. It is no longer a story that uh, the conference recognizes that Nigeria is a young country. We all know that. That 70% of its population are below the age of 50. And that the youthfulness fuels a huge energy capable of delivering sustainable prosperity to over 200 million Nigerians if well harnessed and rightly targeted. Consequently, in actually promoting the values of progressivism, it is in the strategic advantage of the Progressive Party and indeed the country to create room for upward mobility of young people in all spheres of human endeavor mentioned in our communique. Submissions at the conference highlighted that conversely the energy if wrongly channeled can lead to a demographic disaster. The young people, 70% of the population could be a demographic dividend. We have to create a pathway to a significant inclusion of young people in party activities, leadership structures, and committees, and also to engage young people in government at all levels by strengthening the provisions of the constitution of the party and establishing guidelines for elected and appointed officials of government and the party as well. The party should fix, this is our recommendation, the age of 35 as the ceiling or below for all councillorship seats to be contested for under the party. We have 8,812 words. If the party will slate those, those positions only for young people below the age of 35, that is empowering politically almost 10,000 young people at the grassroots level.